Welcome back to my Let's Play for Pokemon Gold, my Mono Rock Run. It's time to visit the power plant. Oh joy. Yeah, I know. It's it's so exciting to go visit the power plant to find out about the missing part, you know? The fact we gotta double back to it after we visit the town sucks even worse. Ugh. But you know, something we gotta do, we can't really avoid it. Sadly, I can't use, really, Piranha Attacks on this thing with this Pokémon, but, you know, whatever. We're in the business of making extra money, because we need those items for this team. So let's face it, when we cry against Elite Four, we're gonna need the funds. We, we really are. Well, we can switch now, at least. Um, let's see. It's about Geo, I guess. Honestly, he's probably better off setting off Rocky and just focusing as many levels as possible onto him. But, you know, I'll make do with what I got. Earthquake. Seriously? Quick attack? I guess when you have to deal with um, a giant um, rock, you don't have many options. And you know, let's face it, you can't really use um, electric attacks that well against Corsola either, though they would do neutral damage at least. Well, I guess if I had switched into that, I would have just laughed, because that attack would have done butt kiss. You did, huh? Well, I'm not interested in exploring that place. Screw Rock Tunnel. There's probably nothing interesting in it anyway. Especially if these trainers out here or anything they go by. Let's see, we'll go with, um, Strength, I suppose. Ah, trying to steal my stat buffs, huh? Well, the joke's on you, I don't have any. Well, that was... Mildly annoying. Thanks, Golduck. You barely put up a fight that was worth talking about. <sighs> oh, I can take advantage of this one. One turn knockout, yeah. <sighs> Man, just... Ugh. And most of the stuff I had to talk about, I already talked about in the Moemon episode when it came to the some other stuff going on right now. Though, so if I get these three videos done, I'll only be three videos behind on my current goal of seven videos a day, so I guess if I push, I can um, average it back out before I go to bed tonight. Maybe. <sighs> Basically, do um, these episodes and go back and do the Misty episodes and upload those too, I guess. Because right now it's already um, technically Wednesday morning, and this will be the fastest way to get um, some episodes done, to be honest. Because these tend to be shorter as of late, because I'm usually focusing on smaller sex segments of the game. I don't know when I'll get back to Ruby Sapphire and Emerald at this point, to be honest. Maybe after I get caught up um, on some of the other runs, I just knock them out. Because honestly, I don't like Generation 3 that much, so it's hard to get me really motivated to work on the grinding in those. Usually the grinding ends up going into other projects. Like last night, I was working on grinding in Uzumaki Chronicles 2 to prepare for the Sasuke survival mode run. I'm still not done with that. I still need to do more grinding to hit max attack and um, ninjutsu attack, as well as um, higher defense on both um, my defenses, as well as I need to grind more HP, but at least I made progress on that. Not as much as I'd like, but progress. <sighs> Why were you singing? Seriously, you gotta practice your, um... Yoo-hoos and your lady calls. <sighs> well, honestly, I haven't been to a picnic in a really long time. I do remember worrying about the ants, though. Stinking ants. Always trying to climb onto the table and steal all your food. Especially if you lay on the ground. Ugh. It's a nightmare waiting to happen. Um, mirror code, I guess. Darn it. <sighs> if only there was a move for bouncing back status effects. So you paralyzed me, and now you're trying to lower my speed even further. <sighs> Darn, I should just knocked off from the giga of the strength attack. But it shouldn't prove too much of a hindrance, to be honest. I mean, some of these things probably have any good um, grass techniques. 
Oh no, I've been seated. But you can't put me to sleep to get the most use out of it. So it's mildly irritating. Ugh. Darn it. I'm only stealing like an eighth of my health at a time, but it's enough to be annoying, I suppose. If some paralyzed kicks in, but honestly, least lead sleep's a better combination in my opinion. You shouldn't have to worry about your opponent damaging you while you're trying to seed them, after all. So you can get some absorption without, you know, taking any hits in return. Of course, you never know when sleep's gonna wear off, because it works for one turn to five turns, depending on how lucky you are. Ugh. But still, it's my preferred move. Because, you know, perilous paralysis just isn't very um, reliable sometimes. Not unless you're combine it with, say, um, confusion or flinching. And then they can be devastating. But only if you pulled off successfully. Which isn't always the case. Ugh. Oh, darn, Goldine's not gonna let me get away? Why not? Does it really have a... Um, issue with me or something? Uh, I guess I could walk to the tall grass and just as, um, lucky, probably. Hmm. Well, I really don't care to run into any, um, electric Pokemon out here. Or does Goldine just really, like, tail whipping me? I mean, I wish I brought a Pokemon that could fly, I suppose. Well, that'd mean having two slots set up for that, and I really don't care for it. You are, huh? Yeah, I really don't know why I would waste would want to ruin your generator. Other than just cuz, I guess. But honestly, the gold run's the only one with a flying Pokemon I can use, because it's the only one I bother catching one with. It's also the main reason that last episode was so short, because I didn't have a cutter on hand. Yes, the main motivation for that was because I didn't have a cutting Pokemon, but then again, by the time I got done with it, I was pretty tired of these games anyway, because gosh darn, I was going through all those trainers boring. <sighs> I mean, if they were a credible threat, it'd be one thing, but <sighs> as is, it's just tedious busy work. <sighs> Give me a opponent that's worth my time, people, you know? <sighs> And no, I'm not going to try and do competitive, because honestly, I just don't have the patience for all the stat grinding and stuff you'd have to do for that. It takes a lot of effort to become a good competitive Pokemon trainer. More effort than I'm willing to put into it, at least. Let's put it that way. How am I littering? When did I litter? How did I litter? And you know what? I'm not going to even worry about it. I was making stories up. Darn. That's gonna hurt. Darn it. Well, up it comes. Well, it's not like I was gonna win with that tactic. If I wasn't paralyzed, I probably would have popped before I even had a chance to go underground the first time. <sighs> Prime Ape, huh? Well, I'm not gonna leave you out there then. Let's face it, being as slow as I am, I'm probably not gonna survive a couple punches from its fist. <sighs> but, I think Rocky can take care of it with an earthquake real quick. <sighs> Polyrath, huh? Jeez. Two type combinations I really don't like here. Water and fighting. But, I'm not gonna give it a chance to surf me if I can help it. If it did that, it'd probably be able to win despite the level gap. Possibly. Um, I think Polyrath puts a lot more emphasis on physical attacks than it does special ones. Yeah, let's just use cut. Okay. You not hurt, okay? 
I'm very busy. No time for talk. Not good for me if you see if seen by somebody. Jeez. Can't read his dialogue. Jeez, he's got a terrible accident. Well, you could at least offer me a bribe for that, you know? Like, here, 1,000 Poké Dollars. Not talk about me. Yes. <laughs> Well, at least we got the part. Guess we should go return this. That might actually allow us to just skip out on him altogether, for all I know. Eh, somehow I doubt it, but, you know, whatever. If we have to deal with him, we'll deal with him then. For now, I got a part to return. In the slowest way possible. Ugh. Yeah, Shigeria, you just cut. Ugh. Jeez. Could they have made this any more tedious? Ugh. I'm gonna have to make sure I have some, like, a new Surf on the, um, Psychic team. Well, yeah, I probably have Surf on, um, Dopey. Or is it Umi in that run? Sometimes I have trouble keeping track of their names. Jeez. So I usually refer to them by their, um, forms rather than their nicknames. I work on so many games at once, it's hard to get as attached as I, some would argue I should. Then again, I play through the game so many times, I've raced so many teams that it's hard to feel super attached sometimes. Like, all the Pokemon from my Fire Run have been deleted, like, Renamon is gone forever, despite being probably one of my favorite Pokemon ever, considering it came out victorious against that Kingdra. That was a big upset for a win there. <sighs> yes, he gives you one of the most useless TMs ever, Zap Cannon. Because you can only use it if you team it up with another move, which means it's part of a two-part combo, which means it can easily be broken, potentially. So yeah, it's not something I really care for. Mind Reader is helpful, I guess, if you're dealing with a Pokemon that loves to use, like, Minimize or Double Team or something, but... Gosh, darn do I hate using it when it comes to most battles. Like, why use Zap Can if you can use, you know, Thunderbolts or something? In fact, even Thunder is more reliable in terms of accuracy. <sighs> and you can always at least make, um, Thunder 100% accurate by combining it with, um, Rain Dance. There are ways to make that move work for you instead of against you. Zap Can, I don't think you really get that luxury. It's. Mind Reader or some other lock-on move or nothing for you. And only a handful of Pokemon learn the techniques necessary to do that. Um, Magneton, I think, learns it. Um, I think you can pick up a TM for lock-on or something, but you have to be by Rage Lake to do it. And going on my way to hunt down something like that's just more work than it's worth, considering I never have reason to use it in the first place. But yeah, let's go bug Misty and get her in her gym now. And if we have to, we'll crush that Team Rocket grunt. Ah, since we returned the party, he doesn't even bother showing up. Nice. I prefer it that way, though. Honestly, I don't know who she's with. Should I have to show up and bug us now? You know what they call people like you? Pest. You heard me right. Pest. Oh, you're from the you're from the Johto region? Jeez, you have eight badges. You have to be good. I have more than eight badges. I have like was it twelve badges now? Yeah, there's only four gyms left, so I should have twelve badges. But she doesn't comment on that. Maybe they figured you'd come to Cerulean City first or something. Or I guess she's technically specifically commenting on the eight badges of Johto, but still. You'd think she'd notice the Kanto badges I have, too, especially from ones from gyms that, you know, are tougher than hers, usually. Ugh. Well, that'll do it for this episode. Till next time, then. See ya.